Hi, AJ Hazzy here from Vantage West Realty, and welcome to our video blog. I want to thank you for stopping by. This is our inaugural run, and from here forward, every couple of weeks, we're going to be sending out some really relevant real estate information along with some top tips for you. So before we get into the question at hand, I want to point out some of the resources that are available within our site. If you're thinking about buying a home, you can click our search for homes uh, function right here and be instantly introduced to every property on the MLS. And if you're thinking about selling, we've also got a value our home uh, link here, which you can get an up to the minute market uh, evaluation on your home. And so now let's look at the question at hand. What is in store for the real estate market of Kelowna for 2014? Well, before we know where we're about to go, we have to look at where we've come from. Now, 2013 was a, a very special transitional year for the Kelowna real estate market. It marked the first year of a recovery. And to give you some context, there's three elements to a market cycle. There's the boom time, which we experienced from 2004 to 2008. There's the slump, which we all know we just experienced from 2008 to 2012. And then there's a recovery, which began right around the uh, fall of 2012. And each of the market segments takes about four years. We boomed for four years, we were in a slump for four years. And so it stands to reason that the recovery will take about four years. So we've entered into the second year of recovery. So what does a recovery look like? Well, we have increased sales. We saw sales go up this year by about 15% year over year. In fact, the December month of 2013 was up 45% over the December from 2012. So that's very good in terms of the amount of transactions. Now the other major component is listing inventory. We saw listing inventory shrink by about 15% as well. So we've got an increase in demand and a decrease in supply. Now, as we know, price is a function of supply and demand, so it stands to reason that over the course of this recovery, we'll start to see small incremental price changes that are going to start inching our way back up to our historic high from the 2007 levels. Now, there's a couple of other things that are sort of adding to this mix, and one of those is interest rates. Now, it surprised us, but they actually lowered the long-range interest rate this year. They dropped it down from as high as 359 right now you can get interest rates on five-year fixed for 3.09. This is really going to add to the sort of buying um, temperature, let's say, of the market. Now, we aren't entering into a period of time where we're going to see massive multiple offers and very uh, you know, quick days on market, but we have entered into what we call a balanced, healthy market. There's roughly about five and a half months worth of supply, which means there's enough that buyers don't feel like there's nothing to look at, but there's not so much that it looks like there's um, an infinite amount of choice and homes will stay on the market forever. Okay, and now for a little prediction. So what I think will happen in 2014 is that we'll see a little bit more of the same, only slightly more pronounced. We'll see inventory to continue to shrink, we'll see sales continue to go up, and we're even going to get our first little bit of price appreciation that we've seen in almost five years. So I would expect to see property values climb anywhere from 2 to 5% in 2014. So this is going to be a great year for us. Uh, Confidence has been restored, and it's an awesome time to own and invest in real estate in Kelowna, BC. So I want to thank you for tuning in for our Real Estate Minute. That's it for now. Uh, I want to invite you to explore all the resources on our video blog or dive a little deeper into our website. If you want to reach out to us, please don't hesitate to uh, get connected by calling us at the office 250-717-3133 or shoot us an email at info at Thanks so much.